Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Welcome to a new episode of the Twin Bushy Learning Series. My name is Leander and today we'll focus on the subject of wheel balancing. In principle, it must be said that wheels must be balanced for safety reasons. Simply put, vibrations develop when a wheel has an imbalance, which can lead to the driver feeling vibrations on the steering wheel, and in the worst case there wouldn't be 100% contact to the street anymore. That means that this safety is guaranteed by balancing the wheels. On the subjects of how often a wheel should be balanced, it can be said that as soon as an imbalance is felt on the wheel while driving, balancing must be carried out. An adhesive or clamp weight could get lost and thus an imbalance occurs. Ideally, balancing should be carried out every time a tire is changed and every time a wheel is changed on the car. If the tire has been stored over the season, an imbalance can occur and the wheel should be balanced. I've brought you a wheel tire combination, an alloy rim with a winter tire. It should be installed on the car for winter. And now we need a certain preparation for balancing. I'll show this to you with this example. On the one hand, the tire should be proof to make sure it's in good condition, drivable, and that the profile is not worn out. For the rim and the balancing process, make sure that the rim and the tire are in good condition. In this case, there are still adhesive weights attached, they should be removed. The wheel plate has a thin rust layer, it should be removed to guarantee a safe and straight sit on the balancer and later on the car as well. And we'll show you that later. We'll remove the adhesive weights now. This can be done with a plastic scraper to avoid damaging the wheel. Put the scraper under the adhesive weights, lever a bit and remove the weights. Additionally, there are still weights glued on the inside. Of course, these must be removed as well. Now we can clearly see that there's still glue residue on the wheel. It must be removed as well. We've roughly cleaned the wheel and now we can check for damages. If there are any bumps, scratches, or heavy damages which could cause an imbalance. It looks good so far. Now we can focus on removing the glue residue. We want to remove the glue residue now. There are many options to remove it, either scratching with the scraper until the residue is removed, or solvents to dissolve adhesive residue. In this case, we'll use a pneumatic glue residue remover. Of course, there are also many options to clean the wheel plate, fine sandpaper, cleaning pad. Just remove the rust to get a flat contact surface. If this is too much work, tools can be used. Here we have an electrically powered cleaning pad. Now we remove the centering ring and the cover cap, so that we can later slide the wheel onto the shaft of the wheel balancer. The surface should also be cleaned here. After we've checked the wheel for damages, cleaned it and polished the contact surface, we can finally focus on the machine. Here as well, care should be taken so that the contact surface or the clamping surface in particular is clean for the wheel. The different cones should have no damages and the shaft should be perfectly clean. The contact surface can also be cleaned with a cleaning pad. When balancing wheels, wheels are always mounted on the machine with the inside and the wheel plate facing the machine. Aluminum or alloy wheels are usually centered with a cone from the inside. 
the correct cone size will be picked for this. The cone should be as close as possible to the wheel plate and sit in the center hole. It would be wrong if, for example, the cone were too small and it had no hold at all. Or the opposite, if the cone were too big and it couldn't enter the center hole at all. To clamp the wheel, we pick a suitable cone. And we fasten the wheel with our quick release nut and a pressure cap. The wheel is usually clamped with the quick release nut and the cap. There are special wheel designs, such as this for example, where the cap would press against the spokes and wouldn't be able get a proper hold. In this case, we would leave the cone out of the inside. Mount the wheel directly on the machine. Place the cone outside and work with the clamping ring to avoid damaging the wheel. While measuring the wheel, you should make sure that the future taping points for the adhesive weights are as far away as possible from each other. Our wheel is already balanced, we'll now remove it from the machine. To do this, we loosen the nut a few turns before we activate the quick release. And we hold the wheel tightly so that it doesn't fall on the shaft. We follow the same procedure with our steel wheel. First of all, clean the wheel. Check for damages, remove the already attached clamp weights. Schlaggewichte, die vorhandenen Schlaggewichte entfernen. Remove the clamp weights. Clean the contact surface of the wheel plate and take the wheel to the machine. Und ab an die Wuchtmaschine. Make sure you also pick the correct cone size again. 